Um, good morning, students. Welcome to today's class. Uh, of course, you know my name. So, this class is uh, for those that are in JSS2 only. So, we we'll continue from what we started last week. Bearing. So, this is a continuation of last week's topic. We have already started it before. Uh, I said, Bearing simply means uh, direction. Direction of uh, an object. And in last week's uh, topic, I also said that uh, we have two types of uh, bearing the compass bearing and the thread to go bearing. I call it the three digit bearing. So we took one example of compass bearing, which I promise you that uh, this week we'll continue from where we stopped. So after compass bearing, hopefully by next week we'll look at a three digit bearing, uh, which they uh, sometimes set question from in general way. Although they also said question from a compass bearing as well. So after this, we can see it was bearing next week. Okay? So, example two, we took example one last week, right? So, this week we got example two. On that compass word bearing, what is compass bearing? I said in compass bearing, measurement starts from the north or the south only, depending on what? The position or the direction of the object. Take for example, if this is a four cardinal point, Four cardinal points, we call it north, west, east, south. This is the four cardinal point, north, west, east, uh, south. Are you following me? <laughs> you have to follow. It's a serious matter. Now, so if the object is between uh, north and west, where do we measure from? I said you must measure from where? From the north. Don't forget that's compared to the measure from the north, from the north, because north is closer. I get it. Uh, start from the north down to the line of what the object, let's call it object A. Now, if I should change the position of the object and place it here, where should I go from? Should I start from the east? No, start from where? The south. Because in compass bearing, we measure from the north or where? The south. If I also place it here, the object here, measure from where? From the north. If I put it here, measure from where? From the south. So take note. Then another thing you need to know before we solve this uh, example two is the angle between this four cardinal point between north and east, south and east, south and west, north and uh, west. The angle between them is right angle, angle 90 degree. Look at it. The angle formed between north and uh, east is what? 90. Boss, this angle what? 90 degree. Between south and east, angle 90 degree. Between south and west, angle 90 degree. Between north and west and what? 90 degree. In such a way that if you should sum up all these angles, total them, 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 gives you what? 360 what? Degree, which is the sum of angle at here at this point. I get it. So, but if I should decide to, you know, draw an object between north and east, object is drawn between this north and east. It means I am dividing this 90 degree into two equal what? Part. Because what? Here will be what? 45 degree. Here will be what? 45 what? degree. Because I have divided the angle into two. I get it. I have presented what? The angle into two. If I also do the same thing here, here we have 45, 45. If I divide by here, 45, 45. That's 90 divided by 2 gives us what? 45. So, if I should draw another line again, maybe we already know that this is 90. And what should I do, you know? Because if you fail to understand this one, you cannot solve this question. If here is 90 degree already given, I get it. And an uh, object is drawn between south and east. Let's call it object uh, A. How do we know the position of this object? Since object is drawn between south and east, measure from here, from the south, must come by south. It means this is the required word, angle. You already know that this angle is angle 90. Which has been divided into what? Three four parts. Divide that by two gives you what? 45. So here is 45 degree. Here is what? 45 what? Degree. Because angle 90 is here. Do you understand? So you now measure from south to where you have the object. Now you south 45 degree what? East. To south and east. Are you following me? <laughs> this is a simple analysis. <laughs> you have to follow that teaching you. <laughs> it's alright. So similarly, Similarly, if you should um, if you should place the object maybe 
if the object is here, uh -huh. remember that the angle that is here is angle 90. So this line is now dividing 90 into two four parts. 90 divided by 2 gives what? 45. Is what? 45. So here is 45 degree, here is what? 45 what? degree. And like I said earlier, if the object is between north and east, measure from the north, down to where they have this object, where the object is standing. Are you getting it? So coming from the north, down to this place to stop, you have 45 degrees. And I say north, 45 degree what? Is this is not what compass uh, bearing. Because compass bearing must have what? Direction. Are you getting it? Alright. So we measure from either north or south. Take that into your memory. So example, using diagrams, find the final direction of each of the following if the turning is clockwise. Find the direction if the turning is clockwise. All of us know it's called clockwise. It is for that point. Clockwise turns like this. Say you know your clock. Eh? Uh, that uh, one that comes in the uh, sequence. Okay. Ken, 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 ken. Uh -huh. Turn like this. I see this. This is how clock is to count. You understand? Uh, don't go to 12. Turn like this. Turn like this. Like this. Like this. Do you understand? That is clockwise. It turns clockwise. Alright. So the first one here uh, is point N. This N here represents not either point not turn uh, 80 what degree. Not turn what 80 degree. Are you following me? Alright. So he said you should use diagram. Find the final direction. The final what? Direction of each of the following what? Turning of each of the following. If the turning is what? Clockwise. Turning like this, like the clock. So you now draw the four cardinal points. Because you said you should use diagram. Draw the four cardinal points. Draw this one. You call here N, W, E, and what? S. That is north, west, east, and the south. Am I complicated? Alright, so 80 degrees is turning clockwise. We know that the angle between these two canal points are 90 what? Degree. Are you following? Angle between them is 90 degree. And the turning is starting from here. Point N. N means north. Point north turns clockwise. We are going to turn like this. I'm going to turn it 80 degree from this point. We're going to turn 80. The full angle is 90 degree. So 8 is now up to 90. So I'm going to stop somewhere here. Because if I finish it, it's 90 degrees. So now turn, I turn it clockwise. From this knot, I follow you. You turn from knot like this, turn, 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 and stop somewhere here. So this place that you have stopped is your 80 degree. Whenever you stop, you now draw a line from this for canal point, this point. Project like this is where the object should be. So here is what 80 or degree. Turning clockwise. You can see that there's an arrow here showing that we are turning clockwise, indicating the direction. I see it. Turning like this. So you now see the answer goes what? Not what 80 degree what east. This is what the compass bearing because it's 80 if you see not and what east. Okay, I'm following. Okay, the second question is point. The second question is point E turn 55 what degree. This E here means what east. I mean, uh -huh. don't let it confuse you. What's that about this E means east? It's an abbreviation. So you now draw the four cardinal points. But it says you should use diagram to find the final direction. So here is north, west, east, and south. Are you following? So having said that, point east, it means we are going to start from east. Likewise, the way we started from north when they said point N turns 82 degrees. Alright, so Point E, which is east, we are starting from east. From here, I like see my hand now. This is the line from east. You start from here. Eh? 55 degrees, you start from the east because it's east. You are going to turn 55, you turn, turn, turn. If I should finish it, it means it's 90. And 55 is not up to 90. So now stop somewhere here. You don't need to measure it. So just use your common sense and draw a line and stop somewhere here. Assume that from here to here is the word 55 because I start from the east. You now draw a line. Bam. So this place is now your what? It's now your 55 volt degree. Are you getting it? But this is not the answer. Do you know why it's not the answer? Because we are told that in compass bearing, measurement starts from either south or what? Or not. And the object is between south and east. 
If I go that you are looking for, it's more than 65. We can start from east and end here. I get it. If I measure it, since the object is here, measure from here, from the south. Yes, number one was different because why? Is the 80 degree was already in the north. And if the object is between north and east, you start from the north. So even though you start like this too, you still get back what your 80. But if it's between south and east, you measure from here, south. So measuring from here to here, we know that the full angle covering this place to this place, angle between south and east is angle 90 degree. Out of the 90 degree, 55 is already out. So this remaining place is what we need. Are you getting it? So now say 90 degree minus what? 55. Are you following? You now get what? You get uh, about uh, 40. Okay, you get uh, 30 what? 5 degree. Are you following me? You get 30 what? 5 degree. So subtract 55 from 90 because everything here is 90. We have taken away 55. So this means remaining is what? 35, 35 what? Degree. So that is the place that we need because object is just at east. You now say south 35 degree what? East. This is what? The answer. That is the word word. Answer. Are you following? You measure from the south, not from the east. You measure from the south down to the object. Alright. The next one is, which is C, point W turn 18 degree. Remember that from the question, the turning point is always clockwise. Start clockwise. Do you understand? Alright. So we now draw the diagram. Draw the diagram north, west, east, and south. Are you getting me? Where are we starting from? Point west. W means west. Where is west? This is west. I see it. This is west. So we start from this west, this line. I you see my hand? Alright. You're going to turn like this, but this line is clockwise. Starting from this line, turning like this. We're going to turn 18 degree. Remember that the angle here is 90. So I'm going to start from here. To turn only what 18 and not turn 18 is just small, eh? Because if I bring it up, it's like 45 degree. So I now bring 18 from here and stop here. This place is my what? 18 what? 18 degree. Who be following you? Eh, you must start from where turn like this 18 degree. Alright. Now ask yourself, where is the position of the object? The object is between north and west. What did I say in compass bearing? You always measure from uh, the north or the south only. Since the object is between north and west, where should I measure from? Where do I need? I will start my measurement from here, from the north. So now measure from the north down to the line. Measure from the north down to this line. So the required angle that I need is from this point, this north, down to this very point. I got it. Remember that the full angle here. Angle between two canal points is 90 degree. So this is 18. What is now remaining to give you 90? What is now remaining to give you 90? Since it is already out, you now say 90 degree minus what? 18 degree. What is the answer? You will only get what? 70 what? 2 degree. So the required bearing now becomes not, you write not first, not 72 degree what? West. This is what the answer. Okay, follow you. Uh, you must start from north to well, um, look at uh, the D part of the question. D says point point S W turn eighty two what degree. You now draw the four cardinal points. That is the first thing you must do. Draw a perfect four cardinal points. Although without measurement, so north, west, east, and south. So having said that, look at the book carefully. It said point SW. SW means southwest. Point southwest turn 82 degree. So where are we starting from? We are starting from southwest. Where is southwest? Southwest, this is southwest. The object is between southwest. This is the object between southwest in the middle. Whenever you see something like this uh, anywhere, maybe southwest, southeast, northeast, northwest, it should be where in the middle. It's northeast in the middle, southeast in the world, middle. So I'm going to start turning from this place. I get it. You start turning from the line, turning clockwise. 
going like this. This is southwest, SW southwest, locating point southwest first. So we'll turn 82 degree to this place. So let's turn. We already know that if the line passes through the center, this line, this place is 90. I told you in the beginning. So 90 divided by 2 gives you 45. So here we already have what? 45 degree. So if we start turning from here in the middle, we have turned 45 degree. So anytime this line is in the middle, it means we have turned 45 volt degree. So we are turning 45 degree now down to this place. 45 degree, and we are asked to turn 82 watt degree. We have already gotten what? 45 degree. So how many do we need to complete it? 82 degree. Are you getting it? The middle is 45 degree. We have turned 45. How many do we need? How many degree do we need to complete it? 82. If I were you, just say 82 minus what? 45 degree. To know what you need so that you stop there. I think it will give you 30 watt, 37 watt degree. So this place now, coming here now is 30 watt, 37 degree. You now stop. Are you getting it? You now stop there. So 37, 45 plus 37 gives you what? 82. That is the end of this place is the 82, 82 degree. 45 plus 37. Follow that window because you can change it, you can say south, east, north, west, whatever. But my problem is not this one. Where is the object located? The object is between north and west. And in compass bearing, take note because your exercise is something like this. They will just draw diagram, put the object between the end of this fork and that point. They say you should find the turning point or find the measurement. If it is between north and west or north and east, I said you measure from here, north. Between south and east, southwest, measure from south. So here, yeah, we are going to measure from here, from north down to this line. Are you getting it? This is the required uh, bearing. This is the required compass bearing. So we need to know the whole of this place. How do we do that? Are you getting me? How can we achieve that? It is very, very what? Easy. Of course, we know that half of this, that is half of 90 between north and east, or between north and east is 90 degree. That is this half here, half here, if I draw another line here, that is from here to here is 45 degree. Then from here, this place down is another one, 45 degree. 45 plus 45 is 90. And we already know that from here to this place is 37, that is this one is 37 degree. Let me shorten it. This is the 37 watt degree. 37 plus what will give us 45. 37 plus what will give us 45. That's the 45 minus 37. I think it will give you uh, 8. So this one I'm this remaining is 8 watt degree. It's 8 watt degree. So that you say that 45 plus 8 is the required then. 45 plus what? Plus 8. So now say. 45 degree plus 8 degree. It gives you what? It gives you 50 what? 3 degree. 53 what? Degree. So now I have north 53 degree what? West. This is the required what? Yeah. There are other ways in which you can solve what? This uh, question. Hope you understand. Uh -huh. So try to do it bit by bit. Just know if you are dividing this one, half of it is 45. You have measured uh, uh, 82. But the required one is from here to this place. What do you now do? You know, it's common sense to what? Calculate. Alright, so you are going to practice um, exercise. Practice exercise 21.1. Um, question 1 to 5. You practice question 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this D, you cut it critically. I get it. Uh -huh. No other turning what and what you need. So see you next week, Monday, for continuation of 3D bearing. Good day, class.